Hey, everybody, come on in here. It's Winning Formula, courtesy of the Minnesota Lottery, and I'm Paul Allen. Ron Johnson, Fox 9, Pete Bursich, analyst for the Vikings Radio Network. Here come the New Orleans Saints and a chance for the Minnesota Vikings to finish the season 3-1 and one against the NFC South. However, this team with Chris Olave, Alvin Kamara, Derek Carr, Michael Thomas, and so on, they also have somebody known as Taysom Hill. He's Taysom the Trick, and he's hot right now. Ron, we begin with you. How do we slow Taysom the Trick? Well, you can't go for all the, the, the stuff that comes around him, the pre-snap stuff, the motions, the shifts. Just play your game. I think Brian Flores has one of the best opportunities because he has a Josh Mattel as a Cam Bynum and a Harrison Smith. So you have three safeties with the opportunity that you don't have to chase and you just have to talk. If, if you guys are lined up in a basic coverage and Josh Mattel is on one side, if he motions, you just bring Cam Bynum down and say, that's your guy now. Josh Metellus goes back, Harrison Smith kicks over, and then vice versa. They can rotate without having to chase him around the field and get caught in the wrong positions. Also, Brian Flores does a great job of setting quarterbacks up for failure by having them two weeks in a row throw to the wrong guy. And so with Taysom Hill, you just have to keep him in front of you and know yeah. he's a gimmick guy. He is hot. He is strong. He can throw. He can run. And that's the other part. Recognize where he catches the ball. If it's behind the line of scrimmage, be careful for that double pass. Right. Yeah, and, and with with Taysom Hill, I think awareness is such a big part of it. Just if it's a um, you know third and short, you know, you might gonna, you're gonna get him at quarterback, and they're gonna run the you know with the counters and the powers. And you know if he lines up a tight end, you always have to be aware of of what he can do above and beyond just blocking. So awareness goes a long way. And I think the other part that they use him for as they move him around is the matchups, right? His athleticism as a tight end and his athleticism as a quarterback. With the front and with the number of DBs we put on the field, I'm not I'm not as worried about that mismatch in athleticism yep. as I would be, let's say, normally. So you have to be mindful of where the young man is and 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 just uh, just know what he's capable of doing and what they want him to do. And Taysom Hill threw for a touchdown pass last game. He caught one and he also ran 11 times. So be careful with Taysom Hill. Now, as the Minnesota Lottery goes, gracious sponsors of Winning Formula. If somebody had chosen Josh Dobbs last week as their lottery player, I mean, that's millions of dollars. That would have been out of nowhere and unbelievable. So now Dobbs, we know, will be the starting quarterback against the Saints. So, Pete, let's begin with you. Who's the lottery player this week? Uh, I think we've already seen the relationship between Dobbs and TJ Hawkinson take off. And I think with, with the way the Saints, they don't play a lot of substitute defense. They like to keep three linebackers on the field uh, in, in, in just – those mismatches, that's exactly, I think, where Dobbs is comfortable right now. So I think TJ is going to build on what he did against Atlanta and have another really great game. Ron? Yeah, and if you can't go with TJ Hawkins, I'm going to go with the guy that's throwing the ball. I'm going to pick a quarterback. I'm going Josh Dobbs. This is why, though. I love any given Sunday, the movie. Cap Rooney was Dennis Quaid. He gets hurt. <laughs> then the backup quarterback gets hurt. Third quarterback, Jamie Foxx, comes in, and then we all know what's going on. Now you have Josh Dobbs, the third quarterback at the Omni Suites Hotel, music video, shirt off, <laughs> milkshake. Josh Dobbs is Jamie Foxx. He's written a movie. We know Cam Bynum screams, movie! Mm. Every chance he get, Josh Dobbs is now in that movie. The NFL script could have been written better, and I think he's going to hit the lottery this week. And uh, it's interesting, after the victory over Atlanta, I asked Harrison Smith, who's seen so much, ever seen anything like that with all the changes, and Josh Dobbs, and he said, yeah, the movie Any Given Sunday. <laughs> excellent, excellent reference. All right, let's beat these Saints, win five in a row. High five for the Minnesota Vikings. Turn that logo to Fleur Deleuze.